Hi, Paul Hefty here with the Triangle O football system. I want to go over our O-line RPO blocking system. To keep things simple, we put it into three different families. We'll start first with our zone family, then I'll go over outside gap and finish with inside gap. Key teaching point, the center needs to call out the front at the beginning of every play. Even means guards are covered, odd guards uncovered, and then bear where the center and the guards are all covered at a TNT front. Let's take a look. So first family is our zone family. We're an outside in attack, so we'll start with our stretch zone. This is just an outside zone or wide zone concept. We'll use what's called a far reach technique by the O-line. What's great about starting with this is, is everyone's gonna go the same direction, so we're all gonna all far reach towards the play call. You can see we use an NCAA theme, so Lobos to the left and Rebels to the right. If the lineman is covered, he's gonna far reach to that D lineman over him or to his outside. If the line is uncovered, then you're gonna far reach to the next D lineman towards the play call. Quarterback RPO reads the will backer or the ox, whichever one we have best access with. Simple call here is we like to use if that's part of your system is an Aussie left or right. Our complement to stretch zone is our split zone or inside zone. We still use our covered uncovered rule, but now a tight reach technique. Theme is NHL now with lightning to the left and Rangers to the right. You can see the linemen, if they're covered, they will tight reach the man over. If they're uncovered, they will tight reach to the next D lineman towards climbing to the second level. The H back always blocks the backside defensive end kicking him out. So in this case, when we call it towards him, he will split across to the defensive end. Quarterback now reads the weak linebacker or Mr. Zero on the backside. We use an Izzy call for our line communication. Variation to our inside zone is a slice zone. It's exactly the same as split zone, except the H back now will leave the defensive end on the backside, wrapping around or slicing around, blocking the will backer inside to the Mr. Zero to the outside. We still use our tight reach technique, and then we still use our Izzy call. The signal will tell the half back to slice, and the quarterback now will read the defensive end making this a triple option type concept. Family number two now is outside gap, which consists of a pin and pull sweep. We'll use a you me calls on our gap scheme. Real simple rule. If you are covered or your inside gap is covered, you're going to pin. That would mean you would use a you call. If you're uncovered, then you're the puller to the far linebacker and you would use a me call. We'll use an NCA theme now with Longhorns to the left and Razorbacks to the right. You can see the exception is against a TNT bear down on the bottom. Everybody is covered. So essentially we go to our Aussie call and just convert to stretch if everyone would be covered. Our third family is inside gap, and we like to use a gap power as our foundation concept. We still use our big to back rule with the backside guard now skip pulling leading on the mic backer. It starts with the H back to the play side. He will always J block the defensive end, getting his head inside, digging him out. The play side tackle then will look to block down and we use a driver call where he will double team if the guard is covered and then drive back to the will backer. If the guard is uncovered, then we can use a climber call where now the guard is climbing back to the center and nose guard to the will backer. The center always has to cover for the backside guard pulling. So if the backside guard is covered, he must block back in all situations. Again, the backside guard uses his bomb call where he's gonna skip pull to the mic backer and the backside tackle now will slide inside and hinge on the backside defensive end. Quarterback reads the Sam backer now. 
You can see in the bottom right, again, the bear is the exception. We all need to block back in man principles, so we simply use a back, back, and pass it all the way from the center to the tackle. The backside guard still pulls and bomb blocks on the mic, but now the quarterback will read the will as a conflict defender. You can see our theme is NFL now, Phoenix to the left and Pittsburgh to the right. Some variations to inside gap is counter blast. Real simple, we'll still use our big to back rule, but now the H back is the puller doing the bomb block on the mic. We'll use an NBA theme, blast being blazers to the left and bulls to the right. Again, the exception is the bottom right versus the bear. Again, we'll all be big, big, big. The H will still pull to the mic, but the quarterback now will read the will backer as the read key defender. Next variation for inside gap is counter tray. This is where the backside guard will pull flat and kick out the defensive end and the H back will still pull with his bomb block on the mic. The Sam again is the read key defender. We now use an NFL theme with Cincy to the left and Cleveland to the right. O-line rule is all blocking down, blocking back, with the guard again flat pulling, using a me call for the puller, and the H using his bomb up on the mic. Last is a counter tag, same as our counter tray, but now we'll have the backside guard and the backside tackle as the pullers, hence the tag call. We still use the Cincy and the Cleveland, but we simply add the tag verbiage of Cincy tag and Cleveland tag to our themes. Again, backside guard will pull and kick out, and now the tackle will wrap and bomb block on the mic with the H replacing the backside tackle, J path blocking the defensive end. Quarterback again reads the sandbacker as his read key defender. You can see now, we can be very versatile and multiple in what we do, but we have three blocking families. So it always starts with zone, then we go to outside gap and finish with inside gap blocking. Thanks.